to a brand new vlog. Today is currently Monday the 25th of April and today is the big day. We are having our floors installed. They're going to be installed within two days today and tomorrow. The house is essentially a disaster. It's going to be a mess for the next couple of days. We don't know where they're starting but we do know they're going to be here between 8 and 10 and it is currently 8 45. So once they arrive, they're gonna say, okay, we're gonna start on this side of the house and then we pretty much need to move everything off the floors that's like two feet to give them workspace and then just move everything. So we're gonna be going back and forth throughout the house. I'm gonna film little segments. We also have Bruce here with us. So he's staying with us for the week. So you'll see him pop in and out of this video as well. And yeah, we're very excited. It's just gonna be a very busy day. This house is gonna be, I feel like it's gonna look so different with the floors in. What do you think, hon? I think it will. It's going to be transformed. So we shall see. Luna and Lexi both were running about like wild children this morning and scratching up the carpet. They were doing it last night. I said, yeah, you guys better enjoy that because <laughs> that's leaving. <laughs> so anyways, let's start the day. To the red, to the red. Now kick, now kick. is served so I'm having an avocado toast I added lime and pico de gallo crushed red pepper flakes two hard-boiled eggs and half of a <laughs> grapefruit my big thing of water got my leftover coffee and then Bruce and Larry are having the sandwiches with the chet not the cheddar American cheese sausage and bacon so we got one we get the bubbly and then for Bruce oh Larry where's your potato Oh, it's under there and there's a potato under there. The floor project has begun. So we're taking everything out of the kitchen. That is where we're starting. And everything is going out here. Hey Bruce. What's going on? <laughs> Okay guys, so we're outside on the lanai and they are starting in the kitchen like I said. So what we're doing right now is they're pulling up all the linoleum floor. Originally we were, they asked if we wanted to go over it but we couldn't go over it because it is peeling up. So that would kind of cause a problem. So they're pulling all the baseboards off and they're gonna do that throughout the whole house. All the baseboards will be gone and then replaced with brand new baseboards, sorry. And then, oh that was Larry's phone. <laughs> and then, what was that? Probably my phone, better than the camera. And then next will be the living room, so that's great. So we're gonna start pulling everything out of the living room, like all the knickknacks off of things. I'm also gonna be doing like a huge donation type thing when we're done with this. But I kinda wanna do like a declutter as well, but I'm not gonna even worry about that in this video, that'll be like later on. Um, but anyways, the plan is by the end of the day today, the kitchen and the living room will be complete, which is so fun. And then they asked me which way I wanted the floors to run. And I was like, I didn't think about that. Like, I don't know. I said, if this was your house, what would you do? And they said they always run them from like front of the house to the back of the house. So as soon as you walk through the front door, they run that way. And I said, yeah, I guess that would make sense because you wouldn't want to walk in the front door and then be all that way so i'm not explaining that well anyways guys uh we're gonna start pulling stuff out of the living room and i'm trying to like film like snippets of the work but i feel really awkward and i don't like to film the workers like the guys that are here i just don't like filming people in general like that's awkward nobody has to be on camera so <laughs> i try to like film snippets of the floor and like little updates without filming people once they're finished in the kitchen they're gonna start in the living room here and work this way like across so what we're gonna do is move everything from this side of the living room to this side
have to show you guys something really cute. Hi. Hi, Nuna. Hi, Lexi. So the girls are safe and sound in here because the guys are going in and out of the house a lot. Um, we have them in here with all their toys and Luna's little security basket that she feels nice and safe in. Hi, Lex. What's happening? And we have their water and <laughs> their food. They have two different things of food. And their litter box is also in here. Not ideal, but of course... That's what happens when projects happen in the house, guys. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see how the floors turn out. And the guys are doing such a good job. I was saying that linoleum on the floor looks like the most irritating thing to pull up off the floor. It's like glued. So I would, I just couldn't even have the patience for it. So to anybody who does that, you guys are incredible and very strong because the endurance to do that job I'm out of breath just moving things, so. I have everything moved from one side to the other side, and then look at this little, little, little. And there's cat food on the floor, of course, that's funny. But yeah, we have a floor plug. And then now we have to move this. So we're gonna take the stuff off the top. And then we have these things that you can slide under here. So hopefully we'll be able to slide it without taking everything off. If it doesn't slide nicely and it's jerky, then we're gonna have to take everything off the shelves. A little check-in. I think it's about halfway point in the kitchen. The guys just went out to take a lunch break. So I'm gonna show you what's done so far in the kitchen. And it's currently 1.15. Here we have it. Looks so nice. I love it. And then, Coming in here, pantry, and then this part is done here. So underneath the fridge and then underneath the washer and dryer are complete. And then that still needs to be done. <laughs> this one. <sighs> Taking a little lunch break now, and since they're working in the kitchen, I really don't want to be in their way and be a nuisance, so I just ordered a pizza. Larry just ran out, and he is grabbing Wendy's, so I'm going to show you guys. I ordered jalapeno poppers for the first time ever. Oh, also, I know a lot of you guys were asking about updates about how the jalapenos went with me eating spicy things. It's just burning my throat. I don't have, like, acid reflux or anything, but I'm getting the throat burn, which is really weird. Um... But I did get the, oh, I got a thin crust, ooh. Okay, so here we have it. It's the thin crust. I have pineapple on half, mushrooms, banana peppers, and onions. Let me know if you would eat this or if absolutely not. And let me know if you're like an absolute despise of pineapples on pizza or not. The jalapeno poppers look so good. You guys see that? Oh my gosh. And they came with a side of ranch. So we're gonna give them a try. I also ordered a side of celery um we'll just not eat that bit with blue cheese as well so let's give this a try it's probably super freaking hot ha oh spicy wow obviously i know guys jalapeno oh oh it was the whole jalapeno came out. Hmm. <laughs> Not too spicy, obviously, because it's fried and it kind of cuts down on that with the cheese inside. Hot. Mm hmm. I'm not like the biggest cream cheese fan, and I'm pretty sure that's what's in there, so I'm not sure I would get these again. But it's a nice treat. Okay, they are finished for the day. It is currently 5, 10, 
and they have completed the kitchen. So that is done. The living room is definitely not, they didn't really get a start on there. They did the hardest parts first. The linoleum they said was really stuck to the floor and hard to get up. And then they did bust up the tile by the front door. But first we need to let the girls out and then I'll show you guys the kitchen. So they've been tucked away safe in here. Hi, Nuna. It's okay, I know, all that noise. You wanna come out and see? Hi, Lex. Hi. They were so good in here. We checked on them a lot. Good girls. Whoop. Here comes Lexi. What's happening? She's like, I don't know about all this. This is not where everything is supposed to be. Okay, so this is what the living room currently looks like. So it's a bit dusty. Very dusty. Very dusty, but guys, look at it. It's totally different, totally. obviously, <laughs> which love it. And the pantry. I just feel like it looks so much bigger. And then the baseboards are all new. Are these the new ones? Yes. They don't look bad. They were concerned because the new baseboards are a different color from this, so they were gonna save the old ones, but the new ones actually look good. Okay, it looks nice. And then the white, I didn't notice that crack there on the wall before. Oh um, uh, yeah, that's, that's... Yeah, I'm sure it's been there. I think. They have to finish this trim here and trim there. And the plan is for them to get here at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning to get an earlier start. So I will continue on filming phase two tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. The it next is, day. It is the next day. We woke up at, uh, well, it's 7.54. And they're supposed to be here at 8. Woke up a little late. Was very, very tired this morning. <clears throat> Hurrying up, getting ready. Last night after the floors, we went out, we got ice cream. No, first of all, we went putt-putting and then we got ice cream and then we came back home and we went to bed and here we are, day two. The floor should be finished today, hopefully. So we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> Today's more of like a heavier load day with a lot of moving of stuff. So it's going to be busy, but I'm excited to see the after, that's for sure. Getting my water down, having my morning coffee good morning my little peaceful ritual before the day really hits you know what i'm saying so i just popped on this i'm trying this hourglass is it mineral veil sunscreen broad spectrum s15 spf 15 oh yeah it's the veil mineral primer is what it is so i've been trying that out i like it it's very nice benefit under the eyes in any place where i might have little acne scars left little, over little. <laughs> They are little, thank you very much. Little. Little, little. I got this spot during pregnancy, like this bright red. Not really sure what that is. I'm getting another one right here. Like these like red blood dots. How weird. And that's it <clears throat> with the concealer. Oh my God, I'm so tired. <laughs> you guys ever have those days where you wake up and you feel hungover? <laughs> That's how I feel today. Obviously, I'm not hungover. I'm just very tired. We're gonna go in and set it with the Laura Trans, no, the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Anywhere that I just put that concealer, I was gonna pop a little bit of this on. All right. Boom. Next, we're gonna bronze. <clears throat> this is turning into a hurry up and get ready with me before the floors begin. Hold on, first we must pause. Cheers to your morning coffee. Although if you're watching this, <clears throat> you might have, you might already had your coffee. Soul Tande Chanel bronzer, it's a cream bronzer. I really love it. I just take my beauty blender, the same one that I use for my concealer, which I use on this side. And then the bronzer I've been using on this side, I just literally like dab it in here. <clears throat> and then dab it around the perimeter. And it's nice because it's just not too intense. You can build it. If you build it, they will come. <laughs> Benefit. Benetint. Rose tinted lip and cheek stain. This is like heavy duty, so be careful with these. I just do one, two, three, one, two, three, and it does dissolve or <clears throat> dry down pretty quickly, so 
get to tap in. And then I'll just quickly go over that with a different spot on the sponge. <clears throat> See what I mean? It dries very quickly. You have to rush, 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 rush. Maybe you should only do one side at a time. The 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. Just gonna brush that through my brows. Why am I doing this in this kind of a video, guys? Why am I? It's a floor renovation video, and I'm over here getting ready with me. Well, you, never mind. <laughs> now I'm going to take the Benefit by Cookie. A little highlight. It's my favorite highlight. I've been using it for, I don't even know, like, forever. Inner corner, just a bit on the nose, not much. And a little bit down the nose, not much either. Boom. Why the brow gel is setting, we're going to curl our lashes. I've been doing this thing lately, starting yesterday, where I didn't used to use a primer, an eyelash primer, like I would only use it on special occasions, but I decided to use it yesterday. I really liked how it turned out, so I'm going in with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Base Primer. I'm going to coat my lashes in that. I guess I'm not doing eyeshadow today, because I forgot that stuff, unless I can just do it. I do not like doing my eyeshadow after my mascara, that's for sure, but we're just gonna do that today. Cause I just messed it up. Pause for another sip of coffee. All right, then we're going in with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. And this makeup is great, by the way, for summer too, especially if you're in hot, humid Florida, like this is perfect cause you're not using a lot of powder. The only powder I used was just to set down that concealer so it doesn't move throughout the day and that's about it just kind of enhancing the beauty that you have already not being specific with your makeup just a light touch and i find that it's much easier and simple when you do the light touch i'm not even running the mascara on my lower lashes i have to check who's eating whose food hold on kitties <clears throat> okay good lexi's on the bed so luna's lexi has been like eating luna's food for her Alright, that's done. Now that the brow gel is dry, I'm just going to quickly run the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit through it very lightly. Just fill in a couple of little spots. Guys, our house. <clears throat> I've been like posting little bits on Instagram as we're doing this. Larry just chanted little. And our entire house is like coated in dust from the tile being broke up in the front foyer. Like everything is coated in an inch of dust. <laughs> Not an inch, that's super dramatic, but it's crazy. So we're going to have to, because even the kitchen floor, <clears throat> it has a whole layer of like this grit dust stuff all over it. I'm assuming they're not going to clean that. So we're going to have to like clean all the floors after install. I'm assuming they don't clean it. I'm assuming they just lay the floors and go. I mean, it's a lot. It's a big job for them. Um, so I'm assuming we're going to do that. So we're going to be able to test that robot thingy maybe in the next vlog that my mom picked up. What am I doing guys? Eyeshadow. Okay. Super simple. Make my own crease and I go way above as you can see what I just did. And I just pop a little bit of bronzer up there. And that is it. And this will be our makeup of the day and we are done. Eos lip balm. Pick your poison. Should we go with vanilla or mint today? We're going with the vanilla. Boom. All right. Thanks for getting ready with me. Thanks for getting ready with me, guys, and having a couple of sips of coffee. Now let's get down to business, and hopefully we will see the finished process of the house with all the floors done in this video. <laughs>
the project has begun. It is 8.57, I think they got here at about 8.40, and the living room is cleared out. They brought two additional people to help, and they like cleared out the living room in 20 seconds. We did have a little accident. One of the tables went into the pool with one of the clocks, but <laughs> it's all good. Um, we fished it out. Yeah, it's gonna go quick today, I have a feeling, so I'm excited. Guys, the amount of dust is absolutely insane. myself some microwave pizza <laughs> from yesterday's leftovers and we just moved a lot of the baby stuff out of the office and out here into the kitchen and we're gonna do half the office and then swap sides and then move the baby stuff over to the other side the cats have been in our bedroom this entire time with food and water and everything and they're moving into that area now so we shut all the doors to the house on the lanai the screens are locked all is well we have Lexi here and Luna is there she is, she's buried over there. Okay. She's right by the door, like what the heck is happening? I'm hiding in the corner. Um, so we've brought them out here and Bruce is on babysitting duty <laughs> to watch the kitties while we move the rest of the stuff. And yet Luna still won't come anywhere near me. Well, she'll get there. <laughs> it's okay, Nunas. Oh, it's okay. Larry and I just cleared out the bedroom, which was such a task. It makes you realize how much stuff you have that you really don't need. Um, but everything on the floor has been picked up in here. And then same with here. And under the bed, of course, we had storage bins and stuff, which are now on top of the bed. And then the it's, oh my gosh, guys, when you see this kind of stuff, it's very stressful. Um, it's just so much stuff. So, but anyways, we're getting there. We'll move these out of the way. Got that. And I'll take you on a quick little roundabout tour. They should have enough to finish the office and the living room. And then they're gonna see what they need. So it sounds like maybe the master and the guest room Oh, come on. Yeah. So they measured incorrectly? Uh, yeah. Turns out we're short on materials. With the measurements, there wasn't enough ordered for the master bedroom and for which room, honey? The guest bedroom. The guest bedroom. So there's not enough to do those rooms. So one of the guys is trying to call around now to see if he can find materials. <laughs> kind of rather unfortunate. quick update for you guys so unfortunately there's a little bit of a blame game happening between the store and the guys who are here to lay the materials they're saying that there should be enough materials there so they're going back and forth um, currently to figure out what is going on there's somebody looking for the flooring right now so we will see what happens I really don't know how it happened or what happened I just feel bad that it happened I feel bad that the guys are getting blamed for the materials I, I don't understand what is happening but it's such a fun thing to have like the floors redone but guys it is utter chaos and disaster like there is stuff everywhere like it's insane let me know in the comments if you've ever done a project like this in your home and like I mean it's just it makes you want to just get rid of everything and not have anything at all because it would be much easier but um yeah I don't know I'm rambling <laughs> sorry but anyways we're short 16 boxes. The guys are on lunch break right now. They're eating in the front. And we'll go from there. I'll update you guys and let you know what happens with the floors. Hopefully we'll be good to go. I just overheard the lady on the phone. She said that they messed up the job very, very badly. Somebody did. They didn't order it correctly. They didn't. So now we're short 20 to 30 boxes, not 16. It just kind of keeps getting, I don't know. I don't know why it happened, but it happened. Um, so they're trying to see if certain stores have some of the materials they're going to try and gather all the materials but they're just not sure if they can get all the materials so 
I don't understand how it got so messed up so bad. Like, I don't get that. But this happens and we just kind of have to roll with it and deal with it. But yeah, I thought when he said blower, I thought he meant literally like leaf blow the inside of the house. I but think he wanted to. Yeah, I think so too. Guys, it is done. Project is complete. Uh, we have a lot of cleaning to do. So he did want to like leaf blow the house, like blow, cause there's a, even when you sweep it, there's a powder that's left behind. So we need to do like a proper cleaning before we can bring anything in. So it's gonna be chaos, but I am gonna show you guys the floors and do like a quick walk around of the house. Again, everything's a mess. <laughs> we have to put everything away, but look at them. He looks so much different. And then here's the living room currently. They're just kind of like that powdery. I'm sure you guys can maybe see it. This goes back into the guest bedroom slash baby room. Never seen the house so empty. We have it, actually. No. The office. Little one's room. Yay. And then our bedroom, which everything's a little finagled at the moment. We're gonna have to, oh, what the heck? The mattress, oh my God. Okay, well, so <laughs> anyways, yeah, this is what the bedroom looks like. The bed is, you. this bed is usually up against this wall and then the vanity's this wall. This is the current state of that situation, so. So I'm not quite sure. I think I'm gonna end this video here because you guys are probably gonna, you can probably tell I've got a lot of work to do for the evening and probably into tomorrow. Everything went well and I'm very thankful for that. Very excited to have the floors. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let us know what you think and I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye.